Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Spain. We recently had the opportunity to meet with Dr. Cara Fitzgerald, who was the lead author on a paper, Potential Reversal of Epigenetic Age Using a Diet and Lifestyle Intervention, a pilot randomized clinical trial that was published in Aging on April 12th this year. This was a groundbreaking study which showed that epigenetic age could be reversed by lifestyle changes alone. It was especially significant as at the time there had been only two other studies which showed small reversals of epigenetic age. In the interview, Dr. Fitzgerald provides some background to the experiment, including why they chose the protocols they did and what led her to attempt the study in the first place. One key point that I took away from the interview was the complexity of the study, given so many variables and the need to restrict the interventions to control these variables as much as possible. It was also an organizational challenge that took them three years to complete. As an introduction to our interview with Dr. Fitzgerald, here are some highlights from our video where we went through the paper that was published on BioArchive. But first a disclaimer that in this video we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. The interventions in the study were diet, exercise, relaxation practices and sleep. Let's go through each one of these. We will start with the suggested diet. They say that there is a lack of evidence over what is the best diet to reverse aging. So they used one that they thought would support the expected biochemistry and has been shown to promote good health. In general, this was plant-centered with support for methylation and other pathways and some animal products. It also included a 12-12 intermittent fasting regimen and restricted carbohydrates specifically to lower glycemic cycling. Two supplements were also included, one being a fruit and vegetable powder and one a probiotic. Here is the detailed diet page. I will not go through this now. You can see that the emphasis is on organic produce with more plant-based than animal. If you wanted to look at it in more detail, you can pause the video or it is available in the appendix of the paper, which is linked to below. The general guidance I found interesting. Organic is favored along with the inclusion of healthy fats. Grains and legumes are both in the to avoid list. There are two supplements used in this trial. One is called Phytoganics, a combination of organic vegetables, fruits, seeds, herbs, plant enzymes, prebiotics and probiotics, which was to be taken twice a day. For your reference, it is a product of Metagenics. You can see more detail on the product here. It seems that you need a practitioner code in order to buy this from their website. We did find another website that sold the product at $75.34 for 29 portions. So if two per day, this would be $5.20 per day. The other supplement is Ultraflora Intensive Care, also from Metagenics. This is a probiotic supplement mainly containing Lactobacillus plantarum. The trial protocol specified that it should also be taken twice daily. This also needed a practitioner code to buy from the website. Again, we found another website selling it for $46.95 for 60 capsules. Two capsules a day would be around $1.57. So if you follow the protocol in the trial, this in total would be $6.77 a day. The next area was exercise. There was not much detail on this, but the protocol called for 30 minutes at least five days a week at 60 to 80% exertion. The trial also included a specific relaxation practice using a method called relaxation response for stress reduction. The technique was invented by Dr. Herbert Benson from Harvard Medical School. There is also a book, The Relaxation Response by Dr. Benson, which you can reference. The importance of sleep was also recognized with a recommendation for at least seven hours a night. So that was the protocols that the treatment participants were expected to follow. In terms of measuring the outcome of the study, this was explicitly set to be based on Horvath's DNA MH clock and to see whether it could be slowed or potentially reversed. Let's quickly review the results again. Compared to the control group, the treatment group were on average 3.23 years younger at the end of the eight week program. Compared to their earlier selves, the treatment group were 1.96 years younger, though the statistical significance of this was borderline in clinical studies, the p-figure should be less than 0.05. And here we can see the results plotted on a graph. 
showing the movement in years for each of the participants during the trial, with the red dots being the participants who underwent the treatment and clearly had a better outcome than the control group. In the discussion section, the report calls out two key features. It is the first randomized controlled clinical trial looking at reversing epigenetic aging. And it is the first to look at diet and lifestyle interventions to reduce the same biological age. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.